discuss about the model for testing. The model for testing include various kinds of program models, the programs, test, bugs, expected outcomes, unexpected outcomes. All these comes under the model for testing. Firstly, coming to the model for testing, the world which includes the environment, the program, nature and psychology and here the environmental model which includes the program model and the bug model and in the program model there can be included test and by testing outcome it should be expected or it might be unexpected if it might be unexpected it going to the environmental model again if the process starts with a program embedded in the environment such as computer and operating system This understanding leads us to create models such as environment, the program and the expected bugs. In these models, we have created a set of tests which might be executed. The result of the each test either it can be expected or unexpected. If unexpected, it may lead us to revise the test our model or our concept how the program behaves or what works are possibly or the program itself only rarely would be attempt to modify the environment the model of the environment a program environment is a hardware and software hardware and software uh, required to make the run for online systems the environment may include like uh, communication lines terminals operators and other systems Communication lines are nothing but which may make the communication between the two systems but we performing an operation between the two systems and other systems includes all the program that interact with the user to create or the programming under the test such as operating system loader linkage editor utility root lines and etc. If unexpected result may happen, we have to change our beliefs. Next, model of program. In this program, most programs are too complicated to understand in detail. If the program is more complicated, we may have difficulty in understanding. That is why this and here is the statement. The concept of the program is to be simplified in order to test it. It is nothing but the concept whatever we are uh, written in the program it must be simplified in an order to test whether it can be expected results or it can be unexpected results we are getting from the testing if a simple model of the program does not explain the unexpected behavior we, we may have to modify the model to include more facts and details if it does not explain uh, in a detailed way, we have to change our beliefs and the model. If it, if it fails, we have to modify the program in another way. Nothing but in previous video we have discussed, bugs are nothing but a bad specification may lead us to create mistakes and behavior for the bugs and the vice versa. An unexpected test result may us lead to change our notation and what is the bug and our model of the bug. A test is also nothing but we have testing our software program which is embedded in the system. It is an a formal procedure and uh, input must be included. Outputs predicted. Tests are documented. Commands executed. And subjected to error.
all these steps are subjected to the error and there is nothing magical about testing in the test reason that protects testers against the bugs and expected test results is often caused by the test bug as it by the real bug and in the testing we have distinct kinds of testing unit testing component testing integration testing and system testing testing it is the smallest testable piece of a software that can be compiled assembled linked loaded and etc actually the work of one programmer but it consisting of several hundred lines of your lines of code only one programmer is working on the certain code but it consisting of fewer lines unit testing is a test we do to show that unit does not satisfy functional specification unit testing does not satisfy functional specifications in this it in the unit testing it reveals faults component is nothing but an integrated aggregate of one or more units component in nothing but one or more units is combined and it is called component and these components are going under the testing and it is component testing a unit is a component a component with subroutines it is called component component testing is a testing we do we do to show that component does not satisfy its functional specifications same in the unit testing and the component testing it does not satisfy functional specifications unit and component testing are same it does not satisfy the functional specification a component is nothing but one or more units are combined and then it is known as component testing coming to the integration testing integration testing is nothing but it is a process by which components are aggregated in component testing units are combined in this components are combined which is nothing but one or no, one or two components are combined then it is known as integrated testing in this also the components were individually satisfied but the combination of components were not satisfied and integration testing is for creating the larger components in this it checks the combination of the components are incorrect or inconsistent system testing is the final testing system testing is a big component and it is aimed for revealing the bugs that cannot be attributed to the components such as inconsistencies between the components and in the system testing it includes performance security accountability and etc and it is concerned about issues and the behavior 